And we are ready for qualification match number 113. 4296 Trident Robotics immediately successful in placing a hatch panel on the front of the ship for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Strike Force, currently ranked number two, did the same on the lowest level of the rocket for red. It's now time for these teams to show us what they've got in this second to last match here on Curie for qualifications today. 461 dropping a quick cargo into the ship for the Red Alliance, grabbing another to, I'm assuming, go back and do the same. Over here on the Red Alliance, or if you look at their clothes, the Yellow Alliance, 2607, the fighting Robo Vikings are trying to grab another hatch panel from their human player station as 461, their partner, drops another cargo into the ship for red. 2767 Strike Force ranked at number two is understandably attracting defense from Trident Robotics. However, they are very deft at maneuvering around defense and are quickly able to drop another cargo into the ship for red. We have a minute and 20 seconds remaining in this match. Roby working and successful on placing a hatch panel in onto the front of the cargo ship for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Team Elite has, has completed the first level of the rocket for the Blue Alliance as well. Now they're grabbing another piece of cargo, headed over and missed placing it into the cargo ship for Blue. 55 seconds left in the match. Trident Robotics is giving Strike Force a rough time Thankfully, 461 has been covering a little bit and is now headed over to place a piece of cargo into the Red Alliance's rocket. They only need one more in in order to finish the rocket for Red, thanks to the one that 461 just placed in there. 2607 got the last. Red Alliance has a rocket done with 25 seconds remaining. 56 Roby, they're lining up for a level three climb, looking very tippy, but it looks like they are more secure now than they were a few seconds ago. Almost complete with their level three climb. Team Elite lining up for a level two. 2607 up on level three. Looks like Strike Force is able to complete a double level three climb for the Red Alliance. That's gonna be huge, not only in terms of points, but also showing off what these teams are capable of right before Alliance selections tomorrow morning. Making points in the process, that is bumping up team 461 to number 11, keeping 2767 at number two, and bumping up 2607 to number 18 as well. Unfortunately for the Blue Alliance, they were only able to earn one.